Sometimes when you're not recording, you gotta record. No, no, no. That's not how it happened. Seen the show Black Jesus? I've seen it. I don't really remember it though. It's by Aaron McGregor. Not maybe not Aaron McGregor. Might be the wrong name. But the guy who made uh, Boondocks. And yeah. One Aaron of the scenes, One of the scenes is it's basically like a dude, and uh, <laughs> he's he's Jesus, but people don't know if he's like fake Jesus. It's, it's, he's done miracles a couple times, I think. But he's you know he's just Jesusing around, and I think it's, it's set in Compton. And, I didn't know Aaron McGruder made that. Oh yeah, is he in it? Um, I don't think so. I don't know what Aaron like, McGruder looks like. But... He's like a pretty young guy, I think. Uh, let's see this man. I've never actually seen him. No, he's not in it. McGruder is McGruder a D forty seven. That's pretty old from the not, screenshots I'm looking at, dude. Not young. Not young, but yeah, he he looks young as heck, dude. What I meant to say was, I think he started the Boondocks when he was young. Holy moly, he does not look. I mean, I guess he's forty-seven. Very, you kind of he looks like he could be. This guy drinks his water. He looks like, <laughs> he looks like my my younger brother. I obviously need to get back into the comics, dude. Look at this. Look at this guy. He is. He he's is, on C-SPAN, dude. He he might be immortal. He might be one of those cats who was born in like nineteen oh one. He shows Boondocks you a picture a comic, of right? I don't know. I think it was. Sony re- Return of the Boondocks with creator Aaron McGruder. He was 22. Wait, what? Yeah. Came out, I guess, 20 years ago. 2000. Came out in 96. 96? Dang, I was yeah. watching it. When was I watching it? But it was a comic strip first. Oh, really? Until, uh, it was a comic strip until 2005. It might oh, still be a comic strip. Fire and comic, dude. The show started in 2005 by Cartoon Network. 2005 to 2014. There's Black Jesus 2014 and 2019. That's a long run for Black Jesus. I, know. I wonder where he lives. Well, he was born in Chicago, Illinois on a dark, dark stormy day to parents. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Under personal life. As of 2013, McGruder is residing in Los Angeles. So that answers that. But that was also <laughs> almost 10 years ago. The sentence. <laughs> if anyone knows what Aaron's up to, let us know. We could probably reach out and get him on the pod. Probably. I'm sure there's like a, like 10% of people that watch the Boondocks that, Boondocks that thought of that inquiry, but like haven't done it. But he's just like there and like down. <laughs> Disney has at least some characters. It's a little less cringy. They all have, they're not all of them, but like no one's like, yo, I'm a fucking... I'm Warner Brothers person. <laughs> I was talking uh, about like, like, people with like clothing. At least with at least with Disney's last name, there's like shows you can get invested in. Yeah, right. A lot of like. Belt. I was I was driving through Hollywood last night. California. Was, yes, no, Florida. Okay. And I was thinking like Disney. Uh, used to be like a small company, very small. No one really knew them. Right, as most companies start. At what point? When they got it, six billion dollars from VC. Just yeah. What but point? no, like at what point did like it start to become known all over the world? Was it when they made movies? Was it when they did Mickey Mouse stuff? Was it Disneyland or My gut said Mickey Mouse. Well, that's pretty early though. So maybe <laughs> Cinderella. Well, that's still like the fifties. Yeah, like I guess maybe like colored Snow white shit. Perhaps. Yeah, maybe when uh, I, I would I would probably venture to say around the world during the princess era, princesses, because mm-hmm. then you can slap on a different language as well. It was like, probably yeah. helped that the movies were good. Like, so I was thinking, like, too, they like in the beginning at least they just bought the rights to old fairy tales and just remade. Oh, really. Them. Yeah, like oh, Snow really? White, Cinderella. Like folk tales that someone had written? Yeah, it was written, oh, a lot no. of it was written by fucking, uh, what are they called? The the Brothers Grimm? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah and they were I really like... Kind of that lore. Yeah, they were really dark, too. Like Cinderella is like... Is that where the word Grimm comes from? Uh, I don't know. Look at these books. But these Cinderella's British. a German tale, and like 
and it's like really like dark the the little mermaid ends in her committing suicide in the original story well she should have yeah and it's no and disney was just like yo these are our characters now and they just made them for kids and almost like yo that's a smart idea the popularity of the grim collected folk tales has endured well the tales are available in more than 100 translations jeez man this is like the late 1800s and have been adapted by filmmakers including Lot Rigner and Walt Disney, with films such as Snow White, Seven Dwarfs, Sleeping Beauty. In the mid 20th century, the tales were used as propaganda by Nazi Germany. Later in the 20th century, psychologists such as Bruno Bettelheim reaffirmed the value of the work in spite of the cruelty and violence in the original versions of some of the tales which the Grimms eventually sanitized. Who do you think, realistically, who do you think? honestly has like the best military tech like the smartest the most advanced like if they were to go like to the very like exhaust all their resources in defense who do you think would like have the most like deadly weapons i think they said china is the second strongest military short of like a nuclear bomb though like don't like Like destroy the whole world cool tech stuff like i'm talking like deploying iron man suits and shit um, like who was like the most advanced shit i think i yo, i think we do I, I would i would probably lean and say america has cool tech for military but also i also I think know. like at some point like if it got bad enough like jeff bezos and elon musk would be like okay i'm turning our fucking factories into weapons factories or some uh, shit and then I all the they care i mean they do have a lot invested in america they could. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if these companies would be like, all right, it's wartime. So, like, we're in a hot war now. There's, that happened, though. Bloodshed, and these companies are like, yo, I'm picking to really back up America. I mean, Tesla has Chinese business. Yeah, but, like, Tesla is an American company in China. Like, that happened in World War II, remember? They were making tanks and shit, <laughs> you know? And everybody that was making cars was like, okay, it's time to make weapons. And, like... People were thinking, like, at the beginning of the pandemic that Trump was going to make uh, companies start to make ventilators because there's, like, a, some law that, like, says he can, like, do that for, like, defense or some shit. Or time where everything, <laughs> you guys have to do everything. Yeah. But, like, I think, I do think that, uh, I do think if it needed to get to that point, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk would be fine with it because they seem pretty patriotic. 